Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another 2K video and today we've got another one of these Road to Glory style videos. We've got a few more bits to talk about today. We've got some new packs, we've got some new players and we have some squad changes that we are going to be going through today. So, first things first. They have released two new playoff moments cards and they are Pink Diamond, Draymond Green and Diamond Myers Leonard. So, very nice cards, I have to be... Uh, I have to say, Pink Diamond, Draymond Green, definitely not Galaxy Opal, coming in with about 11 Hall of Fame badges, I think, 12 Hall of Fame badges, 6 foot 7, and of course, some amazing, amazing badges. So defensively, defensive stopper and rim protector, hustle rebound as well, but he also has Dimer, which is a massive, massive addition on the court if you do have Draymond in your lineup. Now, this car can do a bit of everything. Of course, at six foot seven, if you play him at the power forward position, he is rather undersized, but you can play him pretty much anywhere else. Of course, he does initiate a lot of the Warriors offense, so he does often bring the ball up at that point guard position, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see some people use his card at point guard, because he does have 94 driving layup, 90 mid-range, 91 three ball. He's got great driving dunk stats as well. He can speed boost, he's got great passing, Defensively, he's insane. Rebounding is great. And he's got 83 speed with ball with 87 speed as well. So this Draymond card is kind of ridiculous. 97 lateral quickness as well. So on defense, this guy is going to be an absolute god. I'm not sure if he is that by now. He's not. I imagine he will drop under 100k in the not too distant future. But uh, yeah, very nice card. Pretty cool card art as well with Draymond looking really smug there. Um, and this might be a card I do pick up. Of course, Draymond's release is pretty slow, so that is going to be a little bit of a downside of that card. And speaking of cards with bad releases, Myers Leonard with a diamond card. Now, 7 foot 1 with Hall of Fame, Limitless Range and Deep Range Dead Eye. That is ridiculous. This is the first centre or big centre with Hall of Fame, Limitless Range. Like, that is just unbelievable. He doesn't even have defensive stopper or rim protector. Um, he doesn't even have them at gold. Wow, that is <laughs> that says a lot about this card. But um, yeah, in terms of offense, 94 mid range and 97 three ball, 95 driving, 95 contact, and he's got 95 shot contest. Only an 80 block for someone at seven foot one is a little bit surprising, but great rebounding as you would expect. And then speed, not the best at 79 and 78 acceleration. But I have heard that his release is super super slow so this is probably going to be a card that does come down pretty quickly in its price let's have a look at how much he's at is he under 70k he's not so if you do pull this guy i'll definitely recommend selling him as quickly as you can there you go there's one there for 80,000 empty and he will steadily come down i know the uh the lure of hall of fame and limitless range is quite big but his other stats and his rebounding uh not his rebounding his release sorry will definitely make it a bit of an unusable card and uh, yesterday, just a little price check on the new Galaxy Opal we've got. Kareem, I haven't actually seen. So he is selling for around 600k. So it seems like all Galaxy Opals, when they first come out, do sell at around 600k. If we look at Luka Doncic, he is selling for still around 600,000. And then Paul George is still going for around 500,000. So some big MT is still locked in, these guys. And then, of course, we do have Kawhi as well. Where is he? That's CJ. There is Kawhi, and he is, I imagine, selling for still around 400k. There's not many of him up, actually. That is a bit surprising. Uh, I guess everyone who buys him actually uses him on their squad. So they are the two new players we've got today. Pretty good. I might definitely have to pick up that Draymond card because he can play anywhere 1 through 3, which is mad. Like I said, at the 4, he might be a little bit, little bit undersized, but uh, anywhere else he will be kind of nice. Now, we've got some new packs. We've got the Anniversary Packs, and they are the Super Packs. So they have everybody in these packs from Series 1 and Series 2, and all the other little players, the uh, throwback elites that came with those sets. So if you pull a pink diamond, it's not guaranteed to be an Anniversary player. It could be someone else. But of course, if you're going to get a pink diamond and it's a pink diamond Clyde or Magic, you're still going to be making a bit of MT, but of course, not as much as you would if it was an Anniversary player. Now, has this changed the market much in terms of series two i can't check season <laughs> series one because i've already locked that in and i do really regret that but series two uh if you are looking to complete this to get that blake griffin or going for those uh 3, tokens these packs have actually increased the prices of the players in the set which is just doesn't make any sense so we can see their kd selling for 300k he was down at 250k larry bird was around 130k he's now up to 200k Kobe was around 200k, he is around the same price. 
AD was very, very expensive. Uh, he was over 300, I believe. So he has come down a little bit. And uh, then we've got LeBron coming in at 188k. I think that's about normal for him. And then Shaq is going for around 125, so about the same. But KD and Larry Bird. I'm not sure why Larry Bird's price has gone up so much. But yeah, if you are looking to complete this set, it's still going to set you back a lot of MT. So 200k, we'll say like 300k. 400, 500k, say like 300k here, so that's 800k, and then Kobe makes it a mil, and then KD takes you to like 1.2, 1.3 mil, just to complete series two, and then of course, if you're going for the 3,000 tokens, you are going to have to splash out some big, big money on getting Kyrie, on getting the Steph, on getting the Galaxy Opal Ball George, and then getting all the other Galaxy Opals that are going to be released. So one bit of news from yesterday's video, as you can see, we do have an empty slot in my squad. I did get a few comments that said to sell Steph Curry, and I did indeed sell Steph Curry. So we got 148K for him, so not bad. I think I paid probably about the same amount, so we probably lost a bit on tax, but in terms of the actual, like, getting rid of him and keeping MT, I'm not too fussed at that at all. So we do have a spot opened up in the squad and it is going to be at the starting point guard position now Melo will be off the bench as our point guard not too cheesy he's six for eight which is pretty standard these days people running penny people running magic people running the new ben simmons you really do and of course people running Giannis there you do really need someone with a little bit of height and that is why we had to get rid of stephen curry but the one player that i do want to pick up and it is a player that i have loved and used before as well and it is the Pink Diamond KD. So, 200k on this one. Why did that other one sell for 288k? That makes no sense whatsoever. So we've got them selling here. Both of these two are pretty much identical in stats. I think the 98, well obviously the 98 has a few stats that are a bit better. But nothing too crazy. But I guess we will pick them up if we can. So this one is coming with those white AD or Kobe's, uh, whatever they are. They're white and they boost the open three. Ball control up to 98, steal up to a 90, and acceleration up to a 99, so they are the best shoe in the game. So we might have to put a bid in on this one, and let's see how much we can get it for. So 209, that one's sold for. It looks like this one's going to go for 200k. So if we can get this one for just over 200k with the diamond shoe and the diamond contract, I'll be pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and put in a bid of 210,000. And uh, the current bid is at 166. Hopefully, we manage to win this one. And he will slot in at that starting point guard position. And he is definitely an end game card. I won't need to upgrade him at all. He is incredible. Even if he does get a Galaxy Opal, it's barely going to be better. He's already got like Hall of Fame Limitless and everything like that. So, definitely don't need to be upgrading him. DeAndre Ayton, definitely I'm happy with keeping. Bob Pettit, he is great. He's untradeable and a Galaxy Opal. So, I've kind of got to keep him there. MJ, I might sell. As crazy as that is, I might sell Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan just because I don't feel like he does as much as I expect of him or as he should do as a Galaxy Opal. So I can't remember how much I paid for him. I think I paid 375k. So hopefully his price hasn't gone too much under 300k and we can chuck him back up and get our money back for him. But I will keep him for a little bit longer, but for now I am a little bit on the fence as to whether or not to keep him. I want to have some MT3. Eight and I only paid 50k for, so I'm happy with him. Porzingis, I paid 60k for. I'm happy with that. That was a diamond shoe and a diamond contract on him. Boogie, we paid 80k. Again, diamond shoe, diamond contract, and completely badged out. So I was happy with that. Mello at 180k, I think I did pay for him. I really do think his price has probably gone down. We don't want Caleb. I don't know who that is. Um, let's try and find Carmelo. So, of course, they did have the locker code for Melo, and that did crash his price. Has it gone up? It has not. So, he's still at 95k, but the one I do have has got the three-point shoe on it and a diamond contract. So, it will be worth quite a bit more than all of these ones here. But, uh, yeah, that's a little bit annoying that we will lose quite a bit of MT on him. Are there any snipes at the back here? I don't even have the money to do it, to be fair. But it's always interesting to have a look and see. And then the Vince Carter, we paid 75000 for the pink diamond one. It wasn't a limited one, uh, just because that one sells for quite a bit more. But I might sell the current one to get the limited one, because that really is end game material. This one is good, but it doesn't have the Hall of Fame limitless, and he is actually at the same price. Oh, that is such a snipe. It's got the foam posits on, and it's at 70 k Oh, I really want to pick that one up, but I can't. Oh, that's such a shame. If I had 70 k I'll definitely buy this, because that is going to... 
you could easily sell that off for like 90 to 100k easily. Um, if someone wants to outbid me on this KD right now, that'd be great. But anyway, so that might be another move to consider. Selling this Vince, upgrading to the limited one, that'd be quite a nice addition to the squad, I think. And then I could run him off at the point guard position. Move Melo back to the two position. So that is what's happening. I did play one game of my team Unlimited last night. I really need to start playing a few more because, uh, yeah, under 10 days now to pick up this David Thompson. And like I said, I don't really need him, but I do want to get him just to say that I have got all of them. No weekly challenges as of yet, and moments challenges is still completely blank. So really annoying that they haven't added any new challenges in a long time. It was that Blazers, uh, who was it? Was it the CJ game, I think? That's the only one they've done throughout the entirety of of the playoffs that is just ridiculous i really need to be upgrade updating that quite a bit more we did actually get some comments saying to pick up the pink diamond michael red apparently he's got a really nice release base eight i believe and he is left-handed as well not that that makes any difference but it looks pretty cool with left-handed shooters like james harden of course he does have great badges great stats but i do believe that his price will continue to tumble so i'm definitely not going to pick him up just yet he's not even under 65k yet and i imagine he will Calm down quite a bit more. And then also Lonzo that we were looking at the other day. He has continued to come down. So we picked him up 75k. Instantly regretted it and sold him on. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, there's 63k there. Is he under 60k? He probably won't be under 55k. He's not. But he is around 60k. So that is really, really coming down in price. So we'll pick one of them up in the future. But we have been outbidded on this KD. Okay, so somebody else wants that one. It does have the best shoe in the game and it does have a diamond contract on it so 212 this one's selling for this one's selling for two for one so maybe 250 is how much we're going to have to pay let's have a look here so 240 let's see okay so 240 and we've got a current bid of 222 so fingers crossed by tomorrow we will have this guy i'll let you guys know how we do and if we do we'll definitely get some gameplay because him coming in at that point guard position and uh, yeah that'll be the team looking pretty much complete for the time being so i hope you guys did enjoy this video as usual please like subscribe and i will see you next time peace